Championship has done it. Down a oh! Beautiful chapter it is for the Bombers. Dick was a bit frustrated about the fact that we weren't playing that well against North on this particular day. There were about 100,000 there and it was a strange feeling to have so much booing going on. Alessio, O'Donnell, snap over his shoulder. Salmon in the front has taken the mark. So Paul Salmon, first scorer of the day, he shouldn't have any trouble converting and he doesn't, the Bombers by a goal. Great day for footy. Uh, MCG, Geelong were flying, they were the premiership, premiership team from 92, so a pretty big scalp. Uh, we were a young developing team. Um, we were still getting to know how good Heard, McCurry, Mercedes, Kelthorpe, these sort of guys could be. So we're learning one another a bit. And I remember uh, my recollection is that Seeds had a game plan around shutting down some of the really influential Geelong midfielders, Bearstow and Hocking and these sort of guys. I got my hands on a couple of early ones. What a magnificent kick by Sam, and it's a goal. Two goals already. And I found myself at, uh, at times during that game enjoying the show at the other end. Very exciting young talent, Hickmont. His other redhead, McGrath, plays better at centre half forwards. Centre half back, I should say, as we saw him uh, clearing that one. Oh. Ablett in a pack of three players. I, I remember going to the game think, and I think maybe Chris Danaher might have had the start on him. And we thought if we could keep him to five or six goals, then we'd be a chance. Um, the fact that he probably kicked seven or eight by half time was going against what we thought. Into attack, Ablett and Danaher! Great mark by the great man. Ablett directly in front, 45 metres out. Doesn't usually miss these, hasn't missed that one. But, um, you yeah, know, fortunately we had Fish up the other end. Kick towards Sam and he's got it. You know, to watch two of them, two completely different players go about their craft. Um, was as a player involved in the game was it was really surreal to see it unfold like that. Yeah, a fantastic day. It happened to be my hundredth game as well, so it was a special day for myself. Gatherers by Buick. Buick's kick to full forward bounce for Salmon, and he gets the goal. To see everything unfold and and see who I think probably is the best player I've ever seen, Gary Ablett, at the other end, um, do what he did was you know it was a really good day. Ablett, snap, <laughs> number ten. I, I did tear my hamstring in the third quarter and I went in at three quarter time and, and she's asked me how many have you got and um, you know I spent two seconds pretending not to know and he said come on and I said uh, nine and he goes do you want ten and Reedy's going he's not going back on and he said do you want ten he gave me that sort of stare and I said yeah, that'd be nice and he goes you got five minutes. Seven's kicked the goal. Well equal he's 14 against Richmond which he's done. I keep saying, well, he kicked 14, Ablett, Fish kicked 10, I kicked 4, so we made up for him a little bit. Gets pinned, Buick in the goal square, snaps and gets it. Those sort of games really stick in your memory, and, and the fact that it was a, a milestone game for myself sort of makes it a little bit more significant. So, But, um, yeah, it was a fantastic game, um, and one that I think around that time of the year we really had to win, and, um, you know, it kept our season going early in the year to give us a chance for what unfolded later on. Esmond will get the ball clear, back towards the centre. There's the siren. The Bombers have won a classic football match. Uh, more than just the sideshow of Gary and myself, uh, it was an important turning point in terms of self-belief for that team and, and um, went a long way to giving us the confidence that we were a, could be a contender.